darn. Where'd it go? Something that big couldn't have just vanished, right? Uh, did it get outside? Uh, where did it run off to? The door. Who cares about the door? That thing is the boss's most precious possession. If it causes any trouble, that door's gonna be used for your coffin. Hurry up, let's search over there. <laughs> Sharp nose. You understand me, right? Surrender. Tianjong Pavilion will be lenient. Madame Qinglong assures it. Of course. This is a residential area. So we cannot just allow you to run wild here. Do as we say, and you will not be hurt. Isn't that right, Madame Xinglong?
Lord. This way. This way. Huh? Mr. Chun. You finally arrived. <laughs> Madam Xinglong. Ah! <laughs> Oh, my baby! <laughs> I've got to my rent my business without you. <laughs> Come on, stop crying. We need to settle your bill. Possessing a large, dangerous animal and not keeping it on a leash, leading to numerous people getting hurt and even their houses burning down. If the people knew. But it was your lion. <laughs> well, I'm sure it would be fun to watch. <laughs> Quite right. Madam Tsinglong, I did not train my lion well. Everything that was burned today, I'll pay for it all. That's all? Uh, well, uh, uh, I could... Uh, I will share this year's ferry revenue with you. Uh, how about 20%? percent for five years. <laughs> ha. <laughs> Madam Tsinglong, you must be joking now. Even I cannot be that generous. Are you asking for the lion's share just to make things hard for me? And if I am... Oh, of course, you know best. Excuse me, it seems I must be going now. <laughs> hmm? <sighs> Madam Xinglong. Go back and assist the people with fixing their homes. If you need any money, borrow from the town treasury. Understood. We will organize the rebuilding work as quickly as possible. As for that thing... <sighs> Take it somewhere far away from people. Don't let yourself get caught again! Alright then, you can go. Yes, ma'am. Get home? Let's eat hot pot. <laughs>